Are you looking for something? We might have just the thing for you. Hi, I'm Uncle Billy, owner of the Barn Finders Incorporated, a true American company. Here you can find anything you can dream of and real treasures like me. Type what you are looking for and we will find it. Eventually, yeah. Barn finders, you want stuff? We have stuff. Barn Finders was sent to me by Zito. All I'll say is thanks, Zito. Somewhere in America looks similar to the real America, but is not quite. Okay. Let's work awful hard on vacation away. Huh? Wait, why am I getting money for this shit? Oh, I'm recycling it. What the fuck even is this game? Tutorial, welcome to Barn Finders. Use your computer to find jobs and travel all over America. It should work. Wow. There's a moon. <laughs> There's a moon here. Owned by Uncle Billy since 8, 1981, this store finds, fix, clean, and sell different types of items. Hello, barn finders. Can you help an old friend? So I heard there's a naughty stag at the old red barn. Maybe you could find it there for you. I am so confused. Well, let's go do the job, I guess. We have to get items and, and, and stuff. Here we go. Travel. We don't have gas. There's gas in your home base somewhere. Okay. All right. Well, that was unfucking expected. It's Banjo Kazooie, but redneck. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, it is the same thing. I don't know what that means, Dwayne's Love Nest. I don't know. As a barn finder, your job is to find requested items. Look for other valuable items. You can sell them at your shop. Search for additional items and secrets. Maps are full of them. Why is this red barn famous? Do I want to know? What the fuck was that? There's fucking Martians! Oh. oh. Rip. Or not. This has been a fever dream so far. Oh, found a collectible. Press T to mark for transport. You're gonna extract him? There's something about aliens and rednecks that go together like peas and carrots. Where do these things mostly seem to be reported? You know, the probing? That's right, in the butt. Shit, what Ugh. These things are so fucking ugly. <laughs> Look at these fucking weird items. Yeah, so whoever worked here was clearly an EMT. And, um, and that's good. Naughty stag. Oh, it's- it's got a bra. Oh, I see. I mean, I kind of don't hate this game, even if it is really fucking weird and- and the sense of humor is extremely poop. It's, um, it looks good, and there's some, you know, weird items that you can look at surprisingly, like, well-made. And nope, it's actually pretty fucking legit. And... And shit jokes. Where's that boy? Did, oh, oh, here's that boy. Oh, it really is that boy! I thought it was just a frog. No, it's exactly that boy. Why is there this much effort put into this game? I, I want to make at least one basket. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got everything I need here. I got my bed, I got my truck, I got my store. Oh, okay. That was normal. Open the shop during the day to start selling items to the clients. There you go. <laughs> Alright, we're open for business. Imagine. You own a store, and these are the items that you're selling. Nothing else. These two items. Turbo Calf is this guy's uh, name. Shirley Love for $16. <laughs> 22 bucks for that. Honestly. His loss. 
Whoa, you, whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, good luck with your fun cat tooth man thing. Alright, store's closed, we're going out. Mm-hmm. Vinny, please stop playing this game. What if I love this game? It's gotta be something good in here. Okay, there's a Yamaha engine. No, oh, there's there's good stuff down here, including this whole thing. There's just someone that lives here. Oh, oh. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! I want to sell the things and see all the items and, you know, figure out which crusty item does what. <laughs> Good haggle. Yeah, chat, every character has the same voice. They just randomly cycle through the voices. Ah, uh, yes, hello. Perfectly normal human. I guess you just break stuff and get stuff? Alright. I guess we don't need this shit. Just break all of it. Item repaired. We are ready for the bike. Very good. Again, this game has, like, surprisingly decent production values. It looks pretty good. For some reason, it's kind of addictive. Amazing. <laughs> Excellent. Yep, that makes sense. Painting above the bed. Oh. First, we do this. <laughs> the hired help. Look at all- oh my god, there's a lot of dap boys. Jesus. Yes, sir, I will sell you this item, but first let me bring my axe to your attention. It's true, you haggle better with an axe in your hand. That was just there. But the fuck? What the fuck? Was that a thief? 500 bucks. Well, no wonder. Still, though, you're not gonna get away with stealing a $500 giant chair. I don't know why people keep buying this crap, but I'm not gonna stop them. Enjoy your $750 chair. Yo, remember that guru lady, Mary? After her disappearance, her house was empty for years. Now Miko owns it. If you win that special event, would you sell me that old clock? By the way, buy yourself a lock picker, just saying, bear out. <laughs> I love her name. All valuable things inside that den. All mine, boyo. Oh, God. This, this fucking game. Uh, I think I do have a lock pick. Chat. I think I need to do the auction first. Oh, my God. This is an expensive house, chat. Ugh! $2,150! Ugh! For this... hunk of junk? Simplest lockpick mechanic I've ever seen. Nice Twin Peaks reference. Very good. Quality. Quality video game. Why does this happen every game I play? Have you ever been interested in earning extra money with no extra work? Then let me, Martin Sparrow, buy your company. With my established network of legitimate businessmen, we can make your dreams come true. Just send an email to totally not money launderer at mafia.maf. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Yet I'm laughing. Got an achievement for that. Echo Company is a pleasure to invite you to our special event, the Bid Wars. You better show off your skills and a keen eye. All right, let's let's do it. The goal is to be the highest bidder at the auction. Use small and big bid buttons to increase the price. After winning, feel free to explore and take all the items. 
If you can show off your skill in a series of small auction, the winner is the person with the most valuable stuff found in storage. Winner of bid wars gets a special prize, the big machine. Greener than the others. Why do why do we have holographic technology in this game? I remember this dumpster. Memories. The fuck is this dialogue? <laughs> These intros, oh my god. These characters are so well defined, so intense. You've never seen characters like these in a video game before. Welcome to Bid Wars. Yo, what's this, a pirate unit? There's like a pirate storage unit. I, I have to do the pirate bid. I absolutely have to do the pirate bid. Sebastian's pants are very weird. They're stuck. The insides of the pants are stuck to the other side. There's nothing in here. Fuck. This place sucks. Chat, I found a thing and it went through the fucking floor. It was a pearl necklace and it went through the floor. I mean, at least... At least I have a spine now. You know, when we started Nirvana, um, we definitely saw aliens. We knew that if we were to bring punk rock to the masses, we'd have to do it through, uh, UFOs and alien cheeks. Cursed Cobain. I like that. Is it supposed to be Kurt or Chris Novoselic? Uh, it's, it's, it's just a, the worst possible Kurt Cobain impression one could do. It's terrible. I know it is. I guess I also get the, um, the, the car. Vinny, there were two Sebastians. Were there really? I, I was busy looking at the chat. What the actual fuck is this game? I, I don't know. I can't explain what this game is. It would do neither of us any good. Don't you love when mechanical components come out of cinder blocks? Oh, this is such a weird cane folk. Gonna hurl, damn it! <laughs> Chat, what the hell is this thing? Oh, it's the the that boy circus. This is uh, is this a cock mask? What's going on? Fertility man. <laughs> It's, it's so goofy, and it, it's got everything in the wrong spot, <laughs> but it's exactly what it looks like. What the fu- Yo, what?! A USO! You saw that, right? D did you? D did you see that? <laughs> Size! Oh, no. You didn't see it? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh no! He didn't see it! I thought I had a witness here! There's- there's more aliens. Oh. I guess Moonshine does that to you, chat. Believe it or not, that's plot being conveyed, says Zito. Zito, I'm grateful that you bought me this game. I appreciate it. I thought you were insane. But I really do understand why you wanted me to play this. There's a surprising amount of production value. Some of the best memories of my life, which are now just coming back to me, involve a lake house and a boathouse that look very, very similar to this. There's also, I was young, so I was scared of, like, aliens myself, weirdly enough. Wow, that's a weird... I, I just had to take my hands off my mouse there just for a second, because that is a very strange coincidence. Is this game reaching into my fucking mind? It really looked very similar to this. The actual boathouse had an upstairs like this, and then when you would go downstairs, it was exactly like this. This was the time in my life where I was, I've told the story a bunch. I read too many abduction stories and watched documentaries that scared me, and I had like severe, like, anxiety about aliens. Some pretty fucking weird, strong memories, including just the fear of being abducted. <laughs> did, did I just destroy a rock and, and wood came out of it? Okay. There's a mystery. 
There's some kind of alien mystery, but I have no idea what's going on. Alright, the fertility mask. I can't wait to see who buys it. Okay, watch how I'm going to repair this painting, chat. So this painting is damaged, right? Mental. You're buying the mask? Someone said Germa is buying the mask. I wouldn't- no, that's not- <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It didn't really look like Germa to me, but whatever you like, chat. Anything in the crafting station remains there until complete. Okay, that's helpful. Which means we can start the boy circus. Wow, that's a weird thing out of context. That's a really weird thing that I just said. Fuck. Evil swamp. I appreciate the option. I've never seen a game give me an option. Oh, all tension has been dispelled because I just farted. You know, in game. Oh, fuck, look. It's the boys. That's a lot of, of them. So there's more but less than I thought. So we can finish that off. <laughs> Fuck. We can get there. Eventually, we can get there, chat. We can build the circus. <laughs> I, I like how this game has it so that there's environmental storytelling in a game where there did not need to be environmental storytelling. But then again, if there wasn't, perhaps I wouldn't be playing this right now. Croc taxi. I can't believe it's got a chicken driving it with a little hat. <laughs> I like that the chicken has a little light on it. That's amazing. Oh my god. Well, that got me. Moses. I love him. Wow. Wow. That's a good one. Right there. Okay. Hey, Clay, get over here. There's a hovercraft over in the right side of the room. Such amazing visuals in service of whatever the fuck this is. Don't mind me, just a bit swamped, kiddo. For the boys remaining. Yeah, I'll probably come back to this game. This game keeps just, like, wrangling me in. It's fun, and apparently it gets better. I just want to know where Sebastian stores all this stuff, like, these customers have purchased all of my stuff, and it's the same, like, eight or nine customers, over and over and over and over again, and they just keep coming back for more of this junk. Just, they love junk. This is a game called Barn Finders, and it looks like this. This is a game about selling junk, and aliens, and poop jokes. Very, very... Very well. What? Oh shit. More boys. The movie Skyfall, I really like. I think it's uh, a blow-up doll. Ugh, another one. There we go. <laughs> That's good. Is it fair to say that this game is a 3D hidden object game? Yep. This would have been a pointing click if it was made in 1995. It's almost done! The circus is nearly complete! I, I will say, it, it definitely doesn't feel like a, an overly cynical game. Like, just to make a quick buck with some, like, you know... It feels like the people that made this actually had fun with it. Vinny, admit it, you stayed for the aliens. I am in it because of the aliens, 90%. And then the other 10% is for the humor. And, like, the weird objects that, that you find. Got the key card. <laughs> they called me insane! That's why I've been here for more than a week. It's just me and Mr. Fox now. That's very nice. So there's audio logs now. <laughs> it's weird to think, though, that this alien angle is, is all mysterious and weird and cool, but then I've had aliens in my shop, like, seven times in the past hour. Day 256. The space fleet never came. I'm willing to go outside. Naked, but not afraid. Maybe I can see the sun one more time. This is this person's, like, life. 
This is proof of extraterrestrial contact on planet Earth. And I'm just like, yeah! They're jamming out. That seems like a crash. Definitely uh, love the conspiracy weird alien shit the best so far. I mean, how the fuck much more of this game is there? You want to see something crazy about the boy circus chat? It's real. Yeah, here it is. Someone sent me a thing and it's 100% real. Look, I couldn't believe it. Shat my pants. Oh, good for you. Is there like a secret in here? Holy shit. Miko. It was them this whole time? Help me, barn finders. You are my only hope. <laughs> this head's an ass! Wow. Steve Gray. Why does chat want me to clap them alien cheeks? You think a secret alien base would have slightly more advanced locking mechanisms? Oh fuck, it's the barrel that fell on Worf. I reference this barrel a lot. This is one of the defining moments of my life, which is why I mention it so much. It was like this. It was like this. Oh, Commander Riker, I need you to kill me. Oh shit, what up? Huh? Again, apparently there's a story here. They, they had holographic technology in 1967. They hired Bob Lazar as a baby to reverse engineer the alien UFO, and that's how they have this technology. I finally understand. Quick to the basement, I can smell freedom! Oh fuck, a real alien? Yes, this is still a game called Barn Finders, by the way, chat. Thank you for saving me, please open your mind. Once there was... A gratis party in the universe. I would have to... A thief stole our delicious moonshine. Have to be a spelling error in there, huh? Go to the moon base and get us some moonshine. Fucking unbelievable. Looks like we're going to a moon base. Boy Circus has been completed. Now this place is fucking classy. Wow, look at this store. It's so much better. Wow. We have come a long way. It has lost its charm. Well, there's still some charm up here if you need it. So you get the... F oh, man. And thus, the, bo the boy circus. It's gone. I didn't think I was going to actually ever fucking finish this game. I didn't know if I needed to. Now I need to. I need to see this through. Can you please bring me back one bottle of Galaxy Moonshine with your truck upgrade? It might be easy. After you grab it, please send me. I would like to add some extra flavor to it before we deliver it to Bobby Gray. You know, the moon. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no pretense now. Full sci-fi. Full alien. What's up, Joel? You don't like this? Don't you like UFOs and aliens? And greys? Check, check the bathroom? I thought you did. I know I do. I definitely didn't have nightmares about greys for years of my life. If you're watching the stream for the first time, this has to be very confusing. I've been playing it since the beginning, and I'm still confused. I sense a water pump and a ingredient station. These aliens and their terrible grammar. Well, you know, when we got to the moon, we knew we were the biggest band. Uh, Guns N' Roses' Axel could eat my dick. So, near Birder, got to the moon. One and three and two and four and three and five. Oh, wow, that was good. Don't, like, appear like that. I just realized something, chat. There's an image that I was showing you all for a long time. It's the same thing. Norm. Making moonshine on the moon. Somehow it feels like a natural extension of what this game is supposed to be. 
this whole time I was wondering if there's some sinister alien subplot. No. Alien was captured, is freed, wants moonshine. Alright. Use this panel to make our galaxy moonshine. Great job, now we can go back home. Still a fart at the end of the day. How much more of this game is there after this? Two more areas? Are you kidding me? This isn't the last stream of this. <laughs> How many times have I said this will be the last stream of Barn Finders? This is an anomaly. Like an alien, this game has become an anomaly. I wonder, I really would wonder if any of the Barn Finder devs have watched any of my streams, because I don't know if anyone else is streaming Barn Finders at the moment. But I, like, I really have to wonder. <laughs> Barn finders just appeared. There are no devs. I'm inclined to believe that. Look, agent, agent, and an alien. This game, it just keeps going. And I like it. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Truthfully, if this didn't have aliens in it, I don't know I'd still be playing it. I need a dimension slicer to go back home. When you look for Bobby, can you send me one? Are these last two areas worth it? Yes. God damn it! I re I'm in a weird love-hate relationship with this game. On some level, I resent it because there's so much of it, and because it keeps, like, getting good. Oh my god. Well, finally, we made it, chat. I, I guess, is this the final world? Does anyone fucking even know? Has anyone ever even played this game? Does anyone aliens? I saw this dance once. Earth is fun. Oh god. It was all worth it for that one moment. Remember when this was a Sunday stream game? It's rare that a Sunday game crosses over. Like, there are some really good Sunday games that I just never revisit. And, and, and yet... This... <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh, it's you. You bought a lot of my stuff. Did we just start an alien dance rave? Holy shit. <laughs> this dialogue is, is really, really well written. I guess I really can't go down there. Aliens only. Well, then what the hell is Uncle Billy doing down there? Morty. Morty, my portal gun, Morty. There it is. The sports model. I can just bring this with me. <laughs> what? I, I guess I could take this and sell it. Yep. Yeah, go through the box! It's alien meta metals. Don't worry about it, chat. Meta metals. This dude's gonna buy the UFO? Are you a real human? I guess so. Wow. You, you just took a flying saucer. Have fun with that. Woohoo! Just gonna fly it around! Hey, Cletus! Let's round up some hogs in the UFO, huh? Yo, yo, cuz. I really want Thick Boy to make a company. Last time I saw one was around Knuckles Barn. Alright, let's head over to the final area. If that's, it, in fact, what it even is. This is what it's all been leading up to, chat. This is why I continued streaming this game for weeks after the first Sunday stream it appeared. This is the payoff. <laughs> Wait, is this a strip club? Oh no. This is the game I decided to play for like eight weeks after the first Sunday. Vinny, recollect a fond memory. Back in the mid 90s, I won a silver laser pointer from like a claw machine. You could see later on that night 50 red dots all over the street. Because everyone had a fucking laser pointer that summer, so it felt like I was connected to something. It was cool. So that's a fond memory. Was it a, a danger to traffic? Yes. Vinny, do you have any fond memories? AKA condensed meat flavor at the bottom of a pan. Oh yeah. No, there were- there were plenty of good steaks that I've made. What about frond memories? What the fuck is frond? Pond memories? I've seen the band Pond twice. Fonds memories? Fond of me lobster? Fondue memories? Bond memories? Blonde memories? 
Grand. Dong memories? And now we're done. Is this the thief? Gray's house? Or room? Ah, oh, it was you all along! What? The fuck? What are you doing with this? Sure is weird. There's, like, storytelling here that I'm just not, not, like, paying much attention to. There it is. Is it- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. The memes are objectives in video games these days. Well, I think that's the ending. Or at least that's all of it, right? Well, we did it. We saw all the stuff. We found all the barns. We saw- we seen the aliens. This is it. You earned this vacation working hard with your uncle. You are awesome. Oh, there we go. The ending. There is an ending. Wow. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. I guess Uncle has become a Rick and is now working with the aliens. That's my guess. Oh my god, what a- what a nonsense game this was. Still, I enjoyed the alien stuff. It, it's just a dumb, fun... nothing game of just looking at graphics that are better than they have any right to be and redneck things and alien cheeks and and you get to play basketball with a dead chicken sorry stunned chicken not dead <laughs>